Keeping the army fit must be a daunting task for any soldier, but there's no shortage of people lining up to become physical training instructors. In the second of her special reports, Ali Gibson revisited three new recruits halfway through the all-arms PTI course in Senelaga, and she found out it's not just about brawn, but brain power as well. Think being a PTI is all about how many press-ups you can do, then think again. For John, Paul, Ash and Ricky, they're really having to up their game with their anatomy and physiology exam, so that when they teach physical fitness, they truly understand the effect it has on the body. When they qualify as PTIs, they'll also have to go back to their units and run huge sports competitions, which is why as part of the All Arms course, they get a chance to have a practice run with the flag competitions. We've got one at the day called Potty Sports, and it looks pretty interesting, loads of stuff going on. What I'm doing is one of them, I get back. I'm gonna crack it. But they're still learning and these aspiring PTIs don't always get things right. So the potted sports is stopped because of health and safety concerns. The soldiers are briefed on what they did wrong and the competition is rescheduled for another day. Well, it's hard work, you know, you can't switch off. It's always gonna be constant, uh, the nature of the course. Uh, nothing's in the bag, we can't take nothing for granted. And it, it just proves today that Preparation's, you know, vital to your success on as being a PTI as well as, you know, passing the course. A few days later and it's time to learn how to create resistance exercises without equipment. Skills like this are becoming more important in today's army to keep fit on ops or exercises when limited resources are available. For these trainee PTIs, the variety of the course means they're really pushing themselves. It's just getting into the course really. We've had like quite a lot of... Uh lesson lectures so like um, dip which is quite a long powerpoint and then like learning how to do stuff so it's really only just started kicking off so but we're looking forward to like battle PT as you can see we're doing today um, long and stretcher races and OFT training as well which is going to be really good down, one, down, two, down, three, they're also learning the importance of teamwork through the logs and stretcher exercises something which they'll soon have to demonstrate at their final pass off parade but this course is also about progressing as an individual, so each of the students are assessed on how they teach a lesson. For Ricky, he's teaching fartlek training, a form of interval training designed to increase speed over different times and distances. Leading classes like this is also helping his confidence. Yeah, I'm finding it uh, good. I've learned quite a, uh, a lot of new things and stuff. I mean, I've worked in the gym previous to coming on the course, so... I mean, I had, I had a bit of a clue what I was doing, but obviously the, the tweaking the knowledge of already, already, already knowing stuff like that. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. I just can't wait for the assault course now, next week. And with another five weeks left, there are sure to be plenty more challenges. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Senelaga.